Good morning, everybody. It's three days until my first surf competition and I am getting ready to prepare. First thing we're gonna do this morning is check the waves because I need a surf. I really just want to get as much practice in so when I go out there on Saturday, I'm not overthinking, I'm just doing it. The waves look really bad. You guys see how flat that looks? So nothing looks great today, so we're just gonna surf at some shitty waves this day and hopefully that prepares me for my competition. Also, if you're wondering, <laughs> My room is clean and then there's just this which is my boyfriend's stuff so What's kind of funny is I got rid of all the chairs in this room. There used to be a big chair right there The reason why I got rid of it is because my boyfriend would use that chair as a clothes chair And it was to the point where I never sat in it because it was like this high in clothes And I just got rid of all the chairs, but now he started on a new pile, which is the floor Okay, well technically that's mine though, so Comment below how to prevent a clothes pile from happening. We just made it to El Porto. This is where the competition is actually being held, but um, it's really bad. Basically, the tide is really low, and when it's low, that means like the wave just kind of like crumple on itself. And in good surfing, you want a shoulder, which is like when the wave like it's like that, like it like doesn't crumble. Like, well, that's not a good example either. <laughs> you basically want a shoulder. So. There's not many shoulders right now, which is okay. Sometimes I'm just gonna get in the water to paddle and to train that, but yeah, it's not looking so good. We're definitely gonna have to try somewhere tomorrow a better spot because this is not looking good. Something I've been doing recently is using earplugs because I've been having hearing issues. <laughs> if you guys don't know, like if you surf, especially in like windy climate, your ears can basically just get a lot of wind and sand in them and then have like basically a bone can grow through your ear it's called surfer's ear and it's very painful it could lead to hearing loss <laughs> ever since i've heard that i was like okay we're just gonna go put some headphones in or these earplugs in so yeah if you're surfing especially in like winterish climate definitely put on earplugs you don't really need them if the wave is small but it's just a good habit to be in I just finished a surf, so I had a good day. I was just about to ask. <laughs> okay, I just finished surfing, and then I had a meeting. Um, part of being a free surfer, which is what I do, I surf full-time but not professionally, is get sponsored by brands. So I just actually had a meeting with a potential brand sponsor, which is so exciting. Um, the past few months have been crazy. Um, if you guys ever see those videos on my social medias where I'm like saying I'm a brand partner for something, those videos are usually like a paid sponsorship and that's how I'm able to support myself. So they mean so much. Every time I get to work with a brand, it's like everything. But the truth is it comes from you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me. I also met some of you guys in the water, which was so cool. A lot of you guys have found me through my I Surf Pipeline video. So if you're new here, welcome. Make sure to comment on this video because I read every single comment and I just love this new community we have. and. Yeah, a lot of you guys were saying like that you were inspired by my journey and that just means so much so thanks for being here you're officially a part of the Dadarma Nation if you are liked and subscribed to this channel um however look what happened to my board i don't know how but my like tail pad just like was like coming off and then my foot actually got stuck in here like while i was surfing so we're gonna have to fix it the good thing is i I have quite a lot of experience of my tail pad falling off. So we're gonna go to the hardware store and get some stuff to fix it together. I'm here at Ace Hardware Store and we're gonna find contact cement. I found it. Is it just me? But I love the smell of hardware stores. Like, <laughs> look to me, it smells so good. It's definitely gonna give me cancer though. Okay, we got the contact cement. This guy right here, 
is about to fall off. So we're just gonna take it off real quick. Oh God, oh gosh, okay. So I finished cleaning this area. I just like scraped all the old wax. Sorry, the lighting's so bad. Okay, we're gonna just paint on the area. So you can see here, I applied the contact cement where I don't think it's gonna move. We're gonna wait 15 minutes and then we're gonna put back this piece. Okay, I got impatient, so we're just gonna put it back in. Wah. Right, and then that's it. Good to go for the next surf. All right, so it's currently 7 p.m. I am about to go to breath training. I go to this breath training class every Wednesday and it's honestly the best because as a surfer, sometimes we surf big waves and if you don't know how to handle yourself on a big hold down, it can get really scary. The only shitty thing is that the breath training I go to is an hour away from where I live, so it's just kind of a far drive, but I just got a text from my surf coach. Oh, I got a new surf coach. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I mentioned that I I'm not working with my old surf coach for some reasons um, that I can't get into, but I have a new surf coach and uh, his name is Ryan and he's been helping me prep for competition, but also just be a better surfer. And we're going to train tomorrow at 5 a.m. So um, quite a bit. Honestly, it's going to be a really hectic 24 hours. All right. We are here at breath training. I made it just in time. We're about to get into the water. Also, my surf suit is from Matus, so thank you so much, Matus, for sending this to me. It's adorable. It's kind of cold, I'm not gonna lie. Why is it so cold? So if you guys are wondering what we do at breath training, we usually start with these rock runs and we do eight to 12 rounds of this. So one round is like one or two laps. So it can get really tiring. And this class is two hours long, by the way. And if you want to see more of what breath training is like, head over to my Instagram because I post a lot of the workouts we do. But once I make it to the surface, I am dying for breath. If you're wondering how late I finished breath training, it's currently 9.30 p.m. And we just finished training. And tomorrow I have to be up at like 4.30. Good morning. It's currently 5.30 a.m. Wait, no, it's 5 a.m. Oh my god, it's so early. I slept for like maybe five hours last night, but I'm super pumped to be surfing or going to trestles. For those who don't know, trestles is like the best wave probably in all of SoCal. We're gonna meet up with my surf coach. That's why we're up so early. I would not do this alone for fun. You have any words of wisdom for me today? Um, have fun. <laughs> Stay off the track. So. Whoa! I like it. Is this track active? Oh yeah. What the fuck? No, and it's really true. If your back is to the train, it is really hard to hear it. Oh my god. Should I go for lefts or rights today? Well, you're at a perfect A-frame, okay. so maybe both. Oh, okay. E-bike. <laughs> E-bike sponsors, no! Okay, Trestles was amazing. And now we're gonna review footage at this coffee shop in San Clemente. It's called Zebra House Coffee. Uh, you know it's pronounced Zebra? No. It's not. Yeah. Wait, is it like a zebra is pronounced Zebra? Yeah. Got my coffee and my Sammy. Jeez, <laughs> seriously, I haven't seen you surf like that. 
Let's save that one. That one. That one's like too good. <laughs> I need to see some bad ones. There's so much in there. Don't you worry. There's a lot of diverse options. Okay, so the heat schedule just dropped, and if you're curious what that means, basically in, in surfing competitions, you compete against like four or five people at a time. So we're gonna see who I'm up against. I'm Twenty thirty-five. This is probably me. <gasps> That's me right there. I'm heat four. 9.22 a.m. Saturday, cool. What is your competition routine? Around like 30 minutes before I go on, I'll read the match report again. Okay. And then I'll visualize it. Whoa, really? Yeah. And then I'll do like- Do you have headphones on? Are you listening to music? No, quiet. Really? Yeah. And then I'll vent to <laughs> how nervous I am. Every time? Every time. Oh my and God. then I'll read, I have like a notebook. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, everybody. It's the day of the competition, and I woke up at 7 a.m. to do a little bit of journaling and visualizing. Like Claire said, she does this before her competition, so I'm gonna try it. I wanna be clear, I'm doing this for fun. Like, I don't want people to think I'm a kook for wanting to be a competing surfer. Like, why is she trying to compete if she's not that good? Like, that's what I'm afraid about. And you might be wondering, Jade, like, that's not what people are gonna think, but trust me. There are some people on my comments that do say that and they don't really bother me until moments like this when it's like actually happening, you know I'm just gonna try to keep calm and one thing that I was doing that I think Really helped me set the nerves down is just closing my eyes and visualizing how I'm gonna Do for example, I'm visualizing what it's gonna feel like when I'm in the water paddling out or what it feels like if I fall like how am I gonna reset myself and I feel like it's helping, but of course, I'm so nervous. So the way it works is there's four rounds. I'm on round one. <laughs> if I make it to round two, then I'll surf later on the day, round three, round four. And if you're curious how a surf competition works, basically you surf for like 20 minutes, you, there's like a timer, and you're competing against usually four or five girls that are at the in the water at the same time. That's called a heat. And then you're judged on your style, the wave you took, the maneuver. You're basically judged on like, a couple of categories, but your score is your top two best waves. If that makes sense. My expectations are basically zero for this. I don't actually know how I'm, I'm gonna do. I would like to make it to the second round, but I have <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, the energy is a little chaotic. We're at the beach now, and I compete in five minutes. Um, the waves are actually looking not that bad. Not great, but not bad. I need to lock it in. I'm gonna visualize right now. I should not be filming. I should just be locking it in, but... Okay, <laughs> let's be the best. Oh, oh my god. I'm about to go. It's really bad, Claire. Like, the waves are so bad right now. They look but small. It's tiny. <laughs> when are you up? Like, in five minutes. Oh my god, okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna lock it in. Visualize! 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 That's insane. I am a dolphin. Okay, tell us what happened. First wave, I got like a 2.76. And then second wave, I did not know that I snaked a girl. And you had a really good wave, but you snaked someone. Because I snaked someone, basically I lost the, all my points on my best wave. And because of that, I was in second, but now I'm in fourth. And the top three move on. <laughs> this is all my fault, by the way. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, I did not know in surf competitions that they don't announce the priority because I thought I would wait to hear, okay, why you go. Yes, she took, you took the shoulder thinking you were far enough away and you thought that she was probably gonna not make it. Yeah, that's what I thought. She was far on the peak, but actually, had you not dropped in on her, she would have she would have pumped right through and then been on the shoulder. So in that case, I'm in the wrong. Yeah. The point of this competition wasn't, at least for me, it wasn't to win. It, it wasn't even to necessarily compete it was just to push myself and i think i did that i also will never repeat this mistake again <laughs> 
I am going to sign up for another competition again because this cannot be the end, okay? We're not leaving off this note because quite frankly, I'm embarrassed, but I know that I will never make this mistake again. Unfortunately, I did already, but you know what? What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh about it, learn from it, and then for the next competition I enter, hopefully I do not do that mistake because I would have moved on to the next round. I would have gone third and I would have gone to the next round, which is... <laughs> But the point of this video was to show you guys to push yourself even though you might be scared and even if you might make a mistake, it's okay. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. Anyway, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys would like to be the comment winner, comment below your thoughts. That being said, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one.